It was a tragic afternoon that left many people speechless as a man allegedly walked into Winnipeg Seven Oaks Hospital and stabbed a fellow co-worker multiple times, surrounded by staff and patients. They're shocked. Um, they're really worried about their co-worker. Um, they're dealing with the stress of it. The violent attack left a woman in her 60s fighting for her life. The horrific assault was just one of a trio of attacks. Global News has also learned the man in his 30s is allegedly responsible for killing his parents. Members of the WPS Homicide Unit and the RCMP Major Crime Services Unit continue to investigate all three of these incidents and believe they may be related. The investigation began outside of Winnipeg when the RCMP went to check on a 73-year-old woman after receiving a call from a concerned friend, but instead found her dead inside the home. An adult male who was known to the victim was identified as a potential suspect and officers began efforts to locate him for further questioning. The initial investigation determined that he was in the Winnipeg area. City police were alerted and began searching when they were quickly rerouted to the Seven Oaks Hospital for a stabbing and assault. There, they found the suspect they'd been pursuing. They attended to the hospital really quickly. Um, it appeared that this assault um, had just occurred and clearly there were a number of witnesses and bystanders um, who identified him. But the scope of the investigation wasn't complete. While the man was being held by police, the RCMP had linked another potential crime scene in the city related to the death of the 73-year-old woman. The RCMP, along with the Winnipeg Police Service, would like to offer our condolences to the family, friends and colleagues of the victims. What occurred yesterday was a tragedy. Global News has confirmed the two victims are the suspect's mother and father. Right now, the suspect is undergoing medical assessment and no charges have yet been laid. Brittany Greenslade, Global News, Winnipeg.